Hello, this is Victoria's Flourish. Um, just a quick one I want to share on how to use the um, Bitcoin wallet called Coin Payments. I like to use Coin Payments because of their user friendliness and uh, the security tightness. Um, Coin Payments uh, is one of the Bitcoin companies that protect their um, members' uh, coins very well. And also, the usability is very friendly. I'm going to be sharing my screen right now to guide you on how to use your coin payment. So, let's go. Um, let me share my screen. So I'm sharing my screen. So once you go to coinpayments.net, you click on login. This is for those that have created accounts with coin payments. Okay. Once you click on login, just put your email and password, then click login, okay? Then you have to go to your email to copy the code sent to your email. Make sure you don't share your email with anyone. So, uh, you are not copying the hash, you are copying the code. So the code is below your username, okay? Somewhere here, you can see the code here. Just copy and you paste it. You paste it, copy the code, paste it, then you log in. If you don't copy that code and copy it correctly, you, you, you saw that I copied and pasted. I did not type it. I did not type it. I copied and I pasted. Okay. So now, uh, once you log in, to get, to send money, if you want to send money to another wallet, for example, let's say this money here now, I need to send it. To another wallet okay you're sending to someone that will um, <clears throat> that will give you um, naira rands or any currency you want like i am an exchanger i'm, I'm a bitcoin exchanger so if you want to buy bitcoin if you want to sell bitcoin i buy and i sell so if you send me bitcoin i'll give you naira rands dollars if you want to buy, you send me Naira Rand's dollars, okay? So right now, let's say you want to transfer this money from here to your exchanger, to somebody that will give you um, Naira, all right? So first of all, I need to copy, I need to get the Bitcoin wallet to use. So I'm gonna be, I'm gonna stop sharing, copy my Bitcoin wallet. Um, I'm gonna copy my Bitcoin wallet. All right. So I copied and uh, I have to continue sharing, share, then you click on wallet, okay? Right now I have like $111, so you click on wallet. When you click on your wallet, you have to watch if uh, the because this place is still turning because if you 
click on anything now, it will not show. You have to wait until the system is ready for you to transact. And to do that, you must watch this, um, must watch, watch uh, the turning of this. Uh, I don't know if you can see where my cursor is still turning. You need to wait for it to finish turning, okay? Because if you log in immediately and you want to start clicking, you find out that you'll be frustrated. You just have to hold on and wait for the system to be ready. Just give it like two minutes. Two minutes and the system will be ready for you to transact. It's still turning. Still turning, so nothing is gonna work here until this system is ready. This is how to transfer money from your Bitcoin wallet to an exchanger or to another um, Bitcoin wallet from coin payments. All right, so now it's coming up. You have so many other altcoins here. That's, that's also the reason why I prefer one payment has other altcoins. You see, the system is still not ready. That is why. All right, now it's ready. You just go to BTC options. BTC options because we are dealing with just Bitcoin. You go to Bitcoin. BTC is Bitcoin options. Then click on this arrow drop down. It drops down. If you want to send money, you click on send stroke withdraw. If you want to copy your Bitcoin wallet, you click on deposit stroke receive. That is if you want to receive money, when you click here, you copy your Bitcoin wallet and send to the person that want to, you know, send you Bitcoin. All right, these other ones, purchase with credit card, you, you don't need to accept, you know how to purchase with, with credit card. If you don't know how to purchase with credit card, do not click it. So you just click on, we want to send money, click on send. Okay. Now. The amount you want to send, the amount here is of course, we saw $111. So if you want to send, you should at least leave $2. Okay. So in this case now, uh, let's see where the $100 can go. Once you put on the you put in the amount you want to withdraw, you check your current balance. The current balance is in BTC 0.0138. Okay, now the total withdrawal is 0 0.0127. So you can see that current balance is greater than total withdrawal. So this, this withdrawal we go through. But if you still want to say, okay, let me put um, 110. You can say, okay, I want to try $110. $110. Total withdrawal is 0 0.014. You can see it's high. Then total balance is 0 0.013. You can see it cannot go. So you reduce to 0 0.109. Okay. 109. The total withdrawal is 0 0.0139. Then current balance is 0. 138. This will still not go because 
your total withdrawal should not be higher than your current balance. You should know that. So now you're going to reduce to 108. Then current balance is 0 0.0138. Then total withdrawal is 0 0.0137. So you see that 108 can go through, right? This, this, this is so because it has to accommodate the Bitcoin fee that will be charged. So we are withdrawing one oh, you have we have one hundred and eleven dollars, but we can only withdraw one hundred and eight. So you you can put where you're sending it to, who you're sending it to. I'm using it for activation. Okay. I need to activate somebody's account. Then you click on request withdrawal. Once you click on this request withdrawal, it will go through. It will go through, but it will tell you to go to your email. Okay, say an email has been sent to your email address on file. So confirm this withdrawal request. You must click the link in the mail, in the email, or the withdrawal will not be processed. So you go back to your account. Okay, you see that uh, this is a uh, withdrawal confirmation. So you click on it, click on this withdrawal confirmation and see the, the link to click is this. You just click this link to acknowledge the request and process the withdrawal, click this link. Some people, they don't read. They just come and click any link they like. Some, some will even go as far as clicking here without reading that. This is the withdrawal link to click. So once you click on this link, it will tell you withdrawal confirm. So once you see that the withdrawal is confirmed, you know that your withdrawal is confirmed. You go, if you go back to your uh, balance, you will notice that you can see that the withdrawal is pending, <clears throat> okay? So this is the short video for how to send. Make sure you send to the correct address. Thank you so much.